to overall something about i mean anything about topic which you would like to add or you know kind of would like to give as a hint who wants to start prepare early and you know be ahead in the game yeah so um i think i think what we covered is that the initial topics are mostly very similar to the computer science one so you know we, we could just yeah. go ahead and start with the uh, standard set of questions which we have in our repositories right so uh, so we can definitely use previous year question papers a lot um i mean if you look at this you know the binary search linear search uh, i mean those were the things probably i saw only Uh, during my gate preparation after that i don't think i have used it much <laughs> but yeah <laughs> but yeah those are really uh, fundamental and important so yeah so yeah. those things you can definitely you know use the like as a student if i were uh, writing gate again i would go back to see as previous year questions and you know start solving those um so machine learning ai again you know i think what we were discussing last time was about the fundamentals right so what i would do at this point is to get a like not to go into the deep depth uh, right you know because these are each of this topic can be very well be one one and a half hour lectures um but i would rather go to a small resource something like a 100 page ml book which covers yeah. concepts in a very um, let's say in in not so depth right i mean uh, we understand in depth knowledge is required but that's yeah. probably not the right strategy for an exam so um, so i would go start probably with this 100 day ml book and then um, just try to see if i can answer some of these questions and i am quite sure whether it is the logistic regression k nearest neighbor we do get a good understanding of those uh, from this uh, 100 uh, 100 page ml book good so um so just to add you know i mean the, i have already shared this book this is for everyone who is watching this later or right now so this book is already available i have also added it in the classroom so you can download it from there what would be the best strategy or order of you know subject in which uh, mm-hmm. which one should be preparing for the best outcome so i mean there are few ways we can think about it uh yeah i mean i have my thought process as well so once you share i'll also i would like to add as well so i would probably like it's it's so there is this concept again in computer science called as exploration and exploitation so let us assume a student who may not have taken up machine learning and ai in their undergrad which means it's completely new to them right yeah. let's assume yeah, yeah. That mm-hmm. if that's the case then i would first go in like the initial days i would go into the exploit mode in the sense that i believe most computer science students would have gone through uh, database would have gone through uh, linear algebra probability statistics all those topics right yeah yeah so, so and again you know you will get previous year questions specifically to gate for those topics so i yeah. would go and start with those concepts i will go and start with you know solving questions on those uh, once i get a clarity on the basic concepts on those topics mm-hmm. uh one month down the line i believe i would start looking for exploring machine learning and ai uh say courses or lectures that cater specifically to it uh, that would I, that would be a wise strategy yeah yeah um if if you ask me <laughs> or if i were to mm-hmm. give an example I would rather do it that way yeah, in the interest of time <laughs> yeah yeah great so yeah so i was also thinking in the same direction what i believe is uh, you know uh, i mean so i always remember you know a, a talk uh, our prime minister gave long back it was you know uh, it was pariksha pe charcha okay and yeah and and i really thought you know that uh, i mean it's not about being uh, you know supporting or being against to a person but what he was suggesting was you know all, always start with the hardest question in the exam okay yeah. and i personally found this was you know something i mean for me or i won't teach this to my daughter or you know to somebody who i'm giving the suggestion because exam is not about solving the hardest question right it's about 
getting the maximum marks out of it right <laughs> so 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 what i believe you know and i have always like uh, advocate advocated this that if you are preparing for exam like gate start with the easiest one okay so just sit with the let's say you know exam and marks distribution okay and then you you sort of you know uh, uh, do the analysis that where can you get marks very easily right? what helped me was this discussion in the online session right because in the discussion time i mean see i can read up all the material i can answer in this mcq that's fine but to get someone to validate my thought process that is like someone has to spend time for me and i get that for free in an online discussion for yeah so in that process if anyone else benefits I, it's great but the way i see it from, is that as a student who has an objective to get a good score is that someone else is validating it can be a peer it can be a guide yeah 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 so so we have to be with, like as a student i believe someone has to be really active in you know posting questions making sure that the reasoning their reasoning process is well explained then it's very easy for someone else to help you and that improves that discussion overall improves one's thought process and yeah yeah true act- so where should we join the test series and all is asked this is really i mean i would like to take this question and then i'll pass on to you uh, i think i i would like to avoid answering that where should join the test series rather i would say test series is something which which is really useful from day one by the way but i think that can wait that can wait for uh, you know couple of months at least okay so next two three months i would suggest you wait and watch for next two months to see you know what are being floated online right and then meanwhile we'll also sort of you know see what we can do right and uh, uh, then you decide like where should you go for test series because as i said like this time it's it's not like you know i mean mostly you you get similar question everywhere so this time it is going to change so so i would suggest wait for it and practice the previous year questions for all the remaining subjects which are there so that could be the that could be my suggestion at this point in time amrit would you like to answer it i i agree with that point yeah so so the the point is that let's be very clear that you know you may get a lot of data science questions for your interview when you search for that in google right data science for interview your next job interview etc but the point is that you know the iis or any iit for that matter anyone who prepares question paper for gate they are not going to follow that pattern they are going i think i let me use this term again they are going to stick to the fundamentals and that's not going to be very like what you see in this you know seo based uh, websites that talk about um, uh, this uh, data science questions etc so so i would say and more importantly it's again you know getting question like taking a test series is one thing which gets you self assessment but someone who can provide feedback based on the performance so the test series that can help you provide that feedback that is more important if you ask 